so I completely procrastinated making this video. I planned on doing it at the start of March. Here it is, March 12th, but it's happening when it needs to happen. So I have really been wanting to work on my confidence um, and also working on my throat chakra. And I'm in a space where like my insecurities have definitely been holding me back it's been causing me to procrastinate like i said i've been doing with this video um it's called it caused me to not necessarily attract the, the people that i need around me it's caused me to second guess myself it's caused a lot of i guess turmoil really cleaning this i don't know if this is just like the stain from this um silver or whatever or if it's it might be i don't know what's on here but i'm cleaning it with some florida water and a little bit of water mixed in the florida water i do have my own florida water that i made it's downstairs if i would have went down there that would have been like another five minutes that i would have spent downstairs i would have made some tea or something random and i was like we're done procrastinating so just use what you have okay so anyhow um i'm just ready to like not second guess myself i'm ready to be in a space where i'm not like talking about myself in a negative way and i'm in a space where i'm not like degrading myself in a way like devaluing myself and being like oh i don't know <laughs> and laughing stuff out like i'm done with that yeah i'm done with that i'm done with feeling bad and insecure and like pushing myself too hard and then feeling like I'm not pushing myself enough and then questioning everything that I'm supposed to do with my life like I'm over that so I feel like the best way to work on that is to work on my solar plexus chakra and to work on my throat chakra simultaneously so that I can speak with more confidence I can speak with more convention with more conviction more power more strength more energy and it can just all come together so i just cleansed my space um you can definitely burn some incense burn sage if you're into sage palo santo cedar mugwort whatever you want to burn i'm gonna burn this is my one of my favorite freaking incense brands it is native soul incense smudge sticks i don't know if you all can see it but this is the white sage and dragon's blood so nice so dope um but i'm gonna burn this because i just love it it's just a strong smell i burn this in my car like i just love the way this does smell so anyhow i'm gonna burn that i got my window open and we're gonna get this started so what you're when you're working on your solar plexus is definitely about your confidence um and not confidence that's coming from how you look or you know anything external it's all about like that inner fire energy um that inner just knowing that you know you got this you got it going on child like you just you just got the goods so yeah i've never really worked on my solar plexus like intentionally so i'm going to kind of let the smoke from the incense go over in my crystals I've already cleansed a lot of these with water, the ones that can get wet. I decided I want to definitely use some blue lace agate or blue lace agate. For one, it's just a really pretty color. Um, as far as the throat chakra, it's a calming, relaxing stone. It's a, it's just one of those like, you're okay. You don't have to worry. You don't have to cry. That, you know, type of crystal. <laughs> Dry your eyes. And it just helps you to feel like you have time to express yourself. You don't have to rush your energy. You don't have to rush anything. Like, it's going to come to you. The words are going to come to you. The energy that you need to, to heal is going to come to you. You don't have to rush anything. That's kind of what I'm getting from it. Um, move this incense. And then as far as like, I'm, so I'm going to go with root and then solar plexus, I'm not root, throat chakra, which is a lot of blue colors and then solar plexus, those golds, yellows. I'm going to go back and forth between those. Um, so I have some beautiful sparkly, 
pyrite. There we go. There we go. Gosh. So that's the pyrite. Blue Appetite. Really good for your third eye too. I make blue. Some royal blue, navy blue. Very pretty with the white in there. I think that's probably like a calcite when it's not polished. Um, got clear quartz. Because it's going to amplify the energy and you can hold your intentions into it. It'll hold those intentions and then amplify them. Some tiger's eye. Of course, you cannot work on your solar plexus without tiger's eye. And you can make like a crystal elixir with this flashy blue lace agate doesn't have a lot of striations in them um, this one is more blue like a lighter paler blue celestite celestite okay so new angle so I got some clear quartz kind of connecting pyrite to pyrite, but I don't, I want to connect the throat to the solar plexus. So I'm going to put some throat chakra crystals in between that clear quartz to connect those energies. And then I have a really big clear quartz. Hold on. Let's go to the crystal vault. I have a bigger clear quartz that I can use. This is actually my activator clear quartz, so I'm not gonna use that one. I have a clear quartz cube I can use, and I have some, oops, I have some raw clear quartz. Oh, there's a small point I can use. Perfect. Uh, I think that's, oh, and I have some moonstone up here. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Moonstone is actually good for the solar plexus chakra as well which you wouldn't expect because it's a watery stone and it's the sun but a lot of sources say it helps with that solar plexus um i guess part of your confidence is being like knowing your emotional state so anywho this is oh that one is a moss agate but this is moonstone can add some of that in here too all right so i want something connecting these two together i have this one this like raw piece of clear quartz And kind of have that coming to connect those and let's see got some aquamarine that really helps you with um, if you have to speak in public if you need to really be conscientious of what you're saying really helps so let's add in maybe three of them right here Coming from this blue lace agate. Switch hands. Okay, so we got a lot of blue on here. We need to bring in some solar. So this is a little jar that I made, like a solar jar I made last year during the summer. Um, and I did have my pyrite in here, but it has like a dry flower. That I was really connecting with and some other like solar plexus um, sacral chakra crystals in here so I'm gonna get out this yellow calcite I haven't worked with yellow calcite on a physical like in a physical way like wearing it so I actually want to pull out one that I can wear I thought I had more pieces of yellow calcite in here I guess I only have three so I'm gonna pull out one that I can make into a necklace I'm thinking this flatter one might work can wrap it up oops so yeah I'm gonna do that one 
and these two kind of are similar size so I'm gonna add these two to the grid so let's put those hmm. I have a moonstone over here move her out the way and put that right there and I like to kind of be symmetrical Um, with my grid, you know, using that sacred geometry. Now, I know this one is on the back, that one's on the front, but that's okay. So, this is what we're looking at so far. We can just stop here, but why not go a little bit further? I actually also want to make a mojo bag. So, all the crystals that I'm using in here, I'm going to make a mojo bag with those same crystals, uh, materials in a mojo bag and kind of keep it on me, keep it in my car maybe meditate with it, sleep with it, just so I can reiterate the energy within the grid, but take it with me wherever I'm going to. So it's like, you know, double the amplification, I guess you wanna say. Mm, might be my first time trying that. All right, so we got some flashy tiger's eye. I'm gonna put these around the rim, if you will. Find some flashier pieces. There we go. I this um plate kind of means a lot to me. My uncle, it was my uncle's, my uncle Joe. Um, he used to use it as a rolling tray. You know what I'm talking about when I say rolling tray. And uh, I haven't talked to him in a while. I don't really know. He's a Taurus. Um, he was a really, really good uncle. He's actually my mom's like friend, but I, I always saw him. I, he was just always my uncle Joe, and it wasn't no like creep type stuff. You know how your mom be having that friend that's supposed to be your uncle, but he's like a straight creep. No, like Joe, never, never, ever, ever. Um, no, he just and he was just so chill. Like he was non-judgmental. He just let us do whatever we want. Like he was just really an uncle. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, so shout out to you Uncle Joe this is his tray this is pretty um, I could add some more maybe I'll add some Amazonite so let's look at our blue tray I do like to separate a lot of my crystals by color so this is my blue tray let's see this is some soda light this is another blue lace agate but these are the Amazonites. Very good. I've been more actually using Amazonite lately, like carrying it with me to work. I had it with me at school the other day when I did a test. Let's see. This is like really, if you have some affirmations, honey, you should use some Amazonite. She's going to help with those affirmations. That throat chakra. Affirming what you want. Okay. Hey, oh. I really want to fill these spots in with a bigger crystal, but you can use your chips. So I'll use some chips here. I like that color combination, the yellow with the blue and the kind of brownish golden um, tiger's eye. I like that combo. Okay, so I'll put some more over here just because you can do it based off of the amount like if you really want to bring numerology into your grid you know you can say I'm only gonna use six of each crystal right or four of each crystal I want to have some stability I want to bring change I'm gonna use five of each crystal I want to bring I don't know I think three is a very harmonious um, number so three harmony as well as like completion like the trilogy um, activation I really feel like three fits that for me um, but yeah and that's kind of what this is like that trilogy activation and it's also like a bursting of something like it's emerging so that's what I have so far mm, anything else that I want to add I have celestite somewhere I also have some Let's see. So I'm going to start kind of putting some crystals aside for my mojo bag. So I have some pyrite. I'm going to put this aside for my mojo bag. I'm going to put some uh, moonstone to the side. 
get some Amazonite and some aquamarine. I'm gonna put this to the side. Oop. So yeah, we got some Amazonite, aquamarine, moonstone, tiger's eye. We also need a hmm. Do I want to add lapis to this? Mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to pretty much stop here, honestly. I think I'm going to stop. I do want to pull a card for myself. Kind of something to keep in mind as I'm going through the next 30 days. I'm going to keep this up for the next 30 days. Probably until maybe the new moon in Aries. Um, that's not 30 days, though. <laughs> I think it's probably like two weeks. Or like sometime in Aries season. Because Aries is definitely about your confidence and being sure of yourself and just going for whatever you want. Um, this is some sodalite. I'm going to add some more of that in there. Mm, let's see. You don't have to fill everything in, but I just kind of want to, right? Why not? And I want some celestite in here. Even though celestite is kind of a sleepy blue crystal. I sleep with celestite. It's a sleepy blue crystal. Um, so yeah, that's what we have so far, I think. So this is my bookcase that you'll see like in the backdrop of my videos. And I cleared this space off. And I just so happen to have this hanging here. The Humza and the Evil Eye. And it's like the same color profile of what the grid is too. So that's kind of dope. So anywho, I got some selenite. I'm gonna put around the grid to kind of clear any energy around it. And I also have some blue celestite. Best crystal to sleep with. Oh my gosh, it's crystal. Yeah, she's bae. I'm gonna have her right here. Kind of going between the two worlds, right? Going outside, inside. I don't know how to explain it. I do know how to explain it, but I don't think I need to. I don't think so. Going outside, inside. Um, I also have some clear quartz I'm gonna put on the outside because I want it to be like it's connecting into the grid but it's not within the grid but it's still kind of showing like there is no grid right like there are no boundaries there's always just bridges of opportunity and then I also have some authentic citrine do a whole video about this because she is real honey so pretty so gorgeous so I'm gonna put that on the outside connecting then have it over here connecting so it's almost like it's four points in this grid And that's what we have, and I'm excited. I'm gonna do the mojo bag, pull a card, and I'll come back to you all. Um, I could light a candle, kind of hold a clear quartz, actually. Where is my activator clear quartz? Hold on. This is my activator clear quartz. Basically what I do is I tap all around the grid um and basically activate the grid with my intentions i'm gonna really take some time off camera hold this crystal um and i'm going to pull some cards for myself kind of really put out there what it is that i am manifesting bringing wanted to see want to have more clarity about want to amplify want to let go of um and hold this crystal set my intentions into it 
activate the grid. Also gonna hold my mojo bag once I make it and pretty much do the same thing, probably do it at the same time and go from there. And if you all have any questions, let me know. I have plenty of other videos about crystal grids. I do plan on doing one um, for you all pretty much every month every just whenever it fits me i might have this up for one month two weeks three months i don't know it's just once i feel like it's time let to undo it i'll do it but that's what we have and i'm loving it and you're gonna be pretty much seeing it like in the background when i do videos the card that i just pulled is power over difficulty reclaiming your power the affirmation is I release toxic people and patterns from my life. I empower myself and my choices and in my relationships. I really like this part where it says telling you to strike out your own self-sabotaging self patterns and to break free from any other limiting influences holding you down. Become conscious and courageous in your ongoing choices. You have the power now. I definitely feel like this fits that solar plexus energy of saying like, you know, I have the power. I can do this. I have the strength. I can do this. I'm in control. I'm moving forward. I'm letting go. I'm breaking free. Like, yes, yes, yes. I'm not holding myself back anymore. I'm allowing myself to grow and to be and to move and to flow. Um, and then this is the number six. Six is a very harmonious number in my eyes, right? Um, and then this right here is, I'm like, right? Like, y'all know. <laughs> What's in my eyes? What's in my eyes? Anyways, I just went ahead and wrapped that calcite, the yellow calcite. Um, and I'm proud of myself because I didn't delay it and procrastinate. I said I was going to wrap it and wear it. And that's exactly what I did. I love the way it turned out. Either way that it turns, it's still going to look cute. And then I used this hemp string. I'm, I usually use, like, so this is my um, amethyst that I have. I usually use, like, this copper string but I just decided you know what let me use something different and it kind of gives me like summery vibes you know um and then I made my own uh, clasp so made this out of the copper wire and then I just used a regular hoop that I found and I'm gonna wear this to work I pretty much held uh, my crystals like this. I said this affirmation from, this is the deck of oracle cards that I'm using. Um, and I'm going to do, I'm gonna activate my grid, like I said, with this tapping on everything, thinking about what I'm bringing into my life. And these are the crystals I'm adding to the mojo bag. So we got blue lace clear quartz blue lace i gotta take clear quartz amazonite aquamarine tiger's eye moonstone pyrite and sodalite and then this is what i'm gonna be wearing pretty much every day i'm gonna really work on seeing what this crystal has to offer for me like i said i haven't worked with it really so i want to see and i think it's so pretty i should probably start putting more of these into the shop and this is like a way of expressing myself creatively too um i just went ahead and did it and so now i need to get ready for work but anyways uh, i love you all again thanks for watching very much appreciate it let me know do you like this kind of just chill sit down talk really showing you the practical ways that i use my crystals um in my everyday life let me know do you like these videos have you made a crystal grid before have you made any crystal jewelry for yourself before and yeah i'm gonna put this in a mojo bag i think i'm gonna sleep with it tonight so i'm gonna let it kind of sit here on my bed i don't know what i'm gonna do no i'm gonna put it in some um i'm gonna put it right here i have this right next to my bed it's not the cleanest but it's okay and this is i'm gonna keep that selenite there kind of cleanse it and then i'm also gonna put this card here too on top of it and i'm gonna put it in a bag tonight before i go to sleep and sleep with it so 